Breast cancer is the most common female cancer in the United States. It affects uh, one in every eight women during their lifetime. And for the vast majority of women who develop breast cancer, there's never a specific reason or answer that we can provide to them as to why they develop this disease. Um, about 70 to 80 percent of all breast cancer is what we call sporadic, meaning that we think it just occurs based on some sort of interaction between environmental factors, um, genetic background. We don't know for sure, but it, it looks like an isolated case. There's not a significant family history. We call it sporadic breast cancer. Um, and we can't explain those cases at, at current. Uh, there are another 20 to 30 percent that we group into this category of familial breast cancer. And these are families where if you look back through the family history, there's more breast cancer in the family than you would expect to occur by chance. Um, so there's a clustering of breast cancer in these families. Um, and then the, the smallest chunk of breast cancer, 5 to 10 percent, is hereditary. And these are the cases where we can identify a specific genetic cause, an inherited factor that is actually leading to a significant increase in the lifetime risk of breast cancer. And the hereditary cases are um, the cases that, where it's critical for us to do genetic testing to identify the people who are at risk, who can benefit from increased surveillance, can benefit from um, altering their treatment plans, um, and identify people that can get screened early and actually prevent the disease. AMBRI offers a number of different options for testing for the BRCA1 and 2 genes. Um, at, at the core, our most comprehensive test uses both sequencing um, and deletion duplication or large rearrangement testing. So combining these methods is really the only way to get comprehensive analysis of the two genes. It will detect both small changes in the gene and larger changes. So um, that's, that's kind of the standard of, of what we offer is both of these together. Um, there are also a number of options for individuals from a high-risk, quote-unquote, high-risk population. So um, certain, uh, certain groups uh, have higher prevalence of BRCA mutations. Ashkenazi Jewish population is one of the um, most well studied, so we have an option for individuals in this population to look for the common mutations first before going on and looking for um, changes in the rest of the gene. And then we also offer BRCA as part of some of our larger uh, multi-gene panels. So what we've tried to do is develop uh, options that are helpful for the patient and the clinician and give them the flexibility to order what's most appropriate for, for each patient in each clinical situation.